2024 Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor First Look Review, Leading the Electric GT Charge Although it looks a lot like the gas-powered Maserati Gran Turismo, the new Gran Turismo Falgor couldn't be more different under the skin. This is Maserati's first fully electric car, with its 800V technology derived from Formula E. With no less than three electric motors producing a combined 751 horsepower, it is by far the most powerful of all the new Gran Turismo models. It can hit 62 miles per hour in just 2.7 seconds, but its extra weight may count against it. Despite all that's new, the Gran Turismo Falgor has the beautiful lines of any Italian thoroughbred and a luxurious interior to match. This is Maserati confidently stepping into the electrified era. When is the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor coming out? While the gas-powered Gran Turismo is expected to arrive in the USA in the second quarter of 2023, the all-electric model will be coming out sometime after this. Hopefully, the release date for the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor won't be too much later. 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor Price and Competition? When it goes on sale, it's likely that the price of the 2024 Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor will exceed that of the gas-powered Trofeo. After all, this is easily the performer of the lineup. We expect that the Falgor could cost over $200,000 in base form, although some feel it will be cheaper. Despite its price, the 2024 Gran Turismo Falgor will be an exceedingly rare breed when it arrives as there are currently no other two-door fully electric Gran Tourers on the market. Bentley and Aston Martin have hybrid cars, but no EVs and none of those hybrids are equivalent to the new Falgor. In terms of EV rivals, the closest alternatives to the Mazer will be the Porsche Taycan Turbo S and the Audi RS e-tron GT. The Taycan Turbo S starts at an MSRP of $187,400 and has nearly identical power, 750 horsepower, and performance, 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, but the added practicality of rear doors. Although not as quick or powerful, the Audi is a sublime EV and starts at $143,900. The Bentley Continental GT and Aston Martin DB11 are closer to the Falgor in execution but have conventional gas powertrains. New Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor Exterior and Colors For years, automakers were hellbent on making EVs look as alien as possible, as if they were otherworldly specimens sent from the future. Now that they've become more commonplace, we're seeing only minimal changes between EVs and their gas-powered siblings, and that's the case with the exterior of the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor. This is not a dramatically different car from the previous Gran Turismo, but that's no bad thing, as Maserati has once again penned an undeniably sexy design. The headlights, taillights, and grille are familiar but have all been massaged for the new car, the Falgor has a grille with gloss black inserts on an anodized silk black base, and the Triton logo and model name appear in dark copper. The classic long hood profile looks as alluring as ever. At the back, the Falgor once again mirrors its siblings closely, but the quad exit tailpipes they have are, understandably, removed here. Along the sides, the new Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor Coupe has a unique wheel design with those in front measuring 20 inches and those at the back being 21s. Maserati says there are a total of 7 wheel options, and the brake calipers can be finished in various colors too. As for the colors available for the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor, these include Bianco, Nero Ribel, Grigio, Maratia, Grigio Maratia Matte, Blue Emozione, and Blue Nobile. There are also special shades from the Maserati Furisery customization program, including the dedicated Rain Falgor for the electric model. Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor Dimensions The dimensions of the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor are the same as for the gas-powered models. It hasn't grown too much over the previous model, although its length is slightly greater at 195.2 inches. With the mirrors, the Mazer is 83.2 inches in width, and it has a height of 53.3 inches. As for the wheelbase, that is 115.3 inches long. Three electric motors and a larger battery have impacted the weight, though. 
whereas the base Gran Turismo Medina has a homologated weight of 3,957 pounds, the Gran Turismo Falgor comes in at 4,982 pounds, over 1,000 pounds more. But even a mass of nearly 5,000 pounds is no match for its three-motor powertrain. Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor Engine and Performance There is no engine in the Maserati Gran Turismo Falgor, but a trio of electric motors, one in front and two at the back, seems like a decent trade-off. Combined maximum power at the wheels is 751 horsepower, and it has a peak torque output of 996 lbft as standard. The Falgor comes with an all-wheel drive system. Maserati says that the motors are driven by silicon carbide inverters that are inspired by Formula E technology. The rear motors are decoupled with no transmission interconnecting the wheels, allowing torque to be directed to each rear wheel independently. Also aiding the car's balance is the T-bone shape of the battery, with the modules located under the seats to help lower the car's H-point. Maserati says that no other EV on the market sits as low as this one. As expected, the performance approaches hypercar levels. The Falgor will surge from 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, in 2.7 seconds and go from 0 to 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers per hour, in just 8.8 .8 seconds. That 0 to 124 time is 2.6 seconds quicker than the Gran Turismo Trofeo. And, while many EVs don't have high top speeds, the Falgor only calls it quits at almost 198.8 miles per hour, 320 kilometers per hour. In rear-wheel drive configuration, 100% of the available power can be discharged to the rear axle. Up to 395 horsepower can be directed to a single rear wheel, and there are four driving modes, Max Range, GT, Sport, and Corsa. Whereas max range limits the top speed to around 80 miles per hour and takes other measures to preserve energy, Corsa unlocks the car's full performance potential while limiting the car's control strategies that may interfere. GT mode is the more balanced, default mode for a truly grand touring vibe, while Sport unleashes 100% of the car's performance with all the electronic nannies keeping an eye on you. All of this adds up to what sounds like a widely adjustable GT. Maserati has also worked hard to create a unique sound for its electric Falgor. Using speakers both inside and outside the car, the team wanted to emphasize the natural acoustics of the electric motors driven by the inverters, while also drawing inspiration from the classic Maserati V8. Range, charging, and battery life. Equipped with a 92.5 kWh battery, 83 kWh usable, and 800V fast charging capability, the Gran Turismo Falgor's battery can add up to 62 miles of range in only 5 minutes. That's at 270 kW charging speeds. Although EPA ratings, MPGU figures, and an official range are unknown, around 220 to 250 miles per charge looks like a realistic outcome when the car is evaluated locally. Those specs are not amazing but neither are they surprising since high-performance EVs rarely have a great range. For instance, the Porsche Taycan Turbo S can only go 201 miles on a full charge. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.